Okay, it's a brew day. Strike water is up. The temp. Um, got a mash in now. So today we're doing a rebrew of the the window outside. A rebrew of the 644 Mosaic IPA, which is basically 644 WLP 644 yeast. Lots of mosaic. It's not a mosaic smash, but it's going to be mostly mosaic in it. Bit of Columbus in there, the bitter, and it's going to be a little combination of uh, malts, mainly just pale malt. Pale malt. There's a bit of wheat malt in there, and there's a bit of melanoidin in there as well. So let's do it. I should also say. It. This is also a live brew day today, and I'm not live now, yet. It's a bit of a late starter. It's going on now, so we'll maybe show you that a bit later on. I, I'm going to jump in and out all day because um, I'm going to have to go into the house at some point because my wife's going away, so. I'll say about kids. You know, Momo and the whole thing, you know, so. I'm not saying that YouTube's not a good babysitter, but you know, they have to eat as well. Oh yeah, so. I'm going to be using some oat husks for the first time. I've never really had it. This is usually to avoid a stuck sparge. I've never really had a stuck sparge. It's maybe going a bit slower than I would like at times, but it's not never been really stuck. Just really a handful down the bottom. We'll see what effect that has. Okay. Let's get the let's get a rubber bung on the um, the pipe. I can never remember what that pipe's called. The overflow pipe is that what it is? Yes. Yes. Well done, Brian. You see, I'm not. I don't have a hangover. So here we go. That's what we're looking at there. Let's do it. This is going to be a 45 minute mash. Um, because I'm using WLP 644. It um, it's a bit of a beast. So I'm going to mash in at 67, but I'm going to only do it for 45 minutes and see if we can get it to um, to ferment down to 10-10, something like that, rather than down to below that, which is not what I really want, because I want, I want a little bit of body in there, that's why I'm putting the wheat in as well. Too. So I think it's going to be something like in around 6.5, something like that, maybe higher, maybe lower. We'll have to wait and see what kind of efficiency we get. Which is quite high, so that's why I don't want it to go, if it goes way below 10 to N, like I've got it as low as 106 at one point, one time, and I think that was an overnight mash up. And I went down, and that was like, if that, if that happens, it's going to be shooting way up past that. You know? Potentially, I should say. It's not necessarily what you want when you've got it on keg. So I think I could handle six and a half percent. But seven is kind of oh, pushing it. I'm sure there's many people saying, saying to themselves, seven percent's fine, it's no problem. But the same amount of people are also saying, six and a half percent, that's crazy. When you drink like four and a half percent. So, swings and roundabouts, I think, is a technical term for that. I don't even know what I'm talking about, I'm just waffling here. That's why I tend to play music over the top of them when I'm mashing in, if I put it in the, in the video, so you don't have to listen to this bullshit. Okay, I need to focus on what I'm doing here. You're keeping me back. Just stop. Oh yeah, I should. I, I know I'm, I'll just keep going on. Should say that um, this is the live brew day today, which I'm not playing part of yet. I will be on soon, hopefully. It's the Jim Payne Memorial Brew Day. Jim was obviously, if you don't know, Jim was a, a brew chamber like like the rest of us. And unfortunately, he died a few weeks ago. 
this is kind of his brood of today. Uh, everybody, loads and loads of people know who Jim is, subscribe to Jim. So that's why we're doing it. And his family have set up like a, a it's like a charity, I think it's a local charity. Um, but there's like a, a donate page, so I'm going to leave a link in the description. So if anybody wants to donate to that, whatever, it doesn't really matter how much, there's no minimum amount you can, you can donate. Click on the link and then send a bit of money over. Check it out yourself. Okay, that's us all matched in. I'm going to get the laptop and we'll get on to the live brew day. Okay, the situation now then is that we've just finished the mash out. I'm going to do the sparge. So we're going to be doing first wort hops. So, wasn't really sure how to do this, but I reckon if I put it in this bag, it's got a bit of a string off on it. I'll hang it off the pump, um, or the, sorry, the arm, and it should go down into the bottom. So, let's try that now. That's the first one, that is 18 grams of Columbus, first wort that is, and it's going to be a 60 minute boil. Still haven't got a solution to the whole the sparge ring that I'm looking. But yeah, someday we'll get it sorted. Only about 10 liters, 10, 11 liters, something like that in here. We'll sparge it up to 26 liters, and then we shall. Then we'll get the boil on. So as far as the brew day goes, or the live brew day goes, I am having a nightmare. I cannot, the Wi-Fi in here is rubbish. Now I, I got a new router, new hub, sorry, from the my broadband company. And I got a repeater the other day and I tested it in here. And it was fine, it was perfect. I get it down in each corner. See today, total nightmare. Now I've got a big, heavy steel door on that so every time I close the door it kind of it definitely cuts out if I leave it open it'll kind of get a signal but I'm still struggling to get onto the bloody brew day which is a pain in the arse so um you hear banging that's what that is it's the wind outside banging the door so we're having a bit of a mirror but other than that the brew day is going absolutely fine which is you know which is the, mo the most important thing let's be honest so yeah, I guess I'll come back, I don't even know when, later. 100 degrees, 
So we're just waiting for it to boil and then it's on an auto timer so the auto timer's on you can see number three that is the boil but I'm gonna have to reset that. I've got caught out once or twice before with this so I need to figure out how long it takes. Put like a run time in I think for S3. Well there's a run time there. I don't need to figure it out, it's telling me there. 33 minutes. Okay, that's 30 minutes to go. That is 20 grams off mosaic. It smells absolutely amazing. Oh, I'm just going to use the same bag as before. Try not to burn the hands off myself. What I need is some of them gloves that Guga has. Marigolds, that's what I need actually. Danger! Right? I don't know why I did that. Ten minutes ago. Get my gloves on. Be right with you, hold on. Okay. What have we got in here? This is 28 grams, which I think is an ounce of mosaic. We've got a protoflock in there as well. That can go in. And then, ah! It's hot. That is hot. See, so putting these gloves on. They're up in the arse. Pop spider next time. Okay. We've now got flame out hops. Either this day is going really quickly or I'm being super efficient here. But um, no real problems other than with the Wi Fi. So, so far, so good. 83 grams of mosaic going on that. My god, they smell good. They smell pretty good. It's going to be a 20 minute hop stand as well. 83 grams, my god. We'll try and get a bit of a word for the thing going as well, too. Okay, that's it. See you at the end for a wrap up. Wow, well, look at all the crap in the bottom of that. This is not going to be a clear beer, but hey. Yeah. Okay, that's the end of the brew day. If you hear any voices, that's the, the rest of them on the live brew day. There it is there. 1060, so I'm up a point on the recipe. Maybe 1061, I don't know. I think it's 1060 anyway. Up a point. Efficiency though is like just short of 80%, which is quite good. Which is very good actually. Um, I'm using a new bag of minch malt. And um, I think maybe that has something to do with it because I noticed I had a bag of Golden Promise I was using before. And as I was going down the bag, my efficiencies were dropping, so I'm guessing maybe it's pre crushed as well, too. So maybe that had something to do with it. I'm not entirely sure, but um, but yeah, I'm very happy with that. Of course, that means it's gonna it's going up towards the 7% mark, but you know, it is what it is. So, um, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna be good. Give me a taste of this first. That is nice. There is a bit of bitterness actually on the back end. That is nice though. Even before it's been fermented. Love mosaic. That's it. See you next week. Stop doing that. That's it.
Hop, sec. 